Yeah, I'm like smiling, and I'm in I'm in Bacon Tender in Dawson right now, and I'm sitting in my chair listening to Summer Breeze makes me feel fine. And I'm thinking about everything that's gonna happen in my future. How good I'm gonna well, how good I'm gonna date, and how good I'm gonna drive a car, and how good I'm gonna learn how to be good at everything I do. Because I'm kind of jammed about everything I do. And I'm really hungry right now, and it's like looking at others. He's my favorite, he's a bad motherfucker. He's, sec he's like the sexy to the ladies, and he's a badass musician, and that's all I think of most. What was that racing for that? I don't even need that. I'm not even recording or nothing. No, I'm recording myself on the video camera. Yeah, that guy's, uh, I don't know his name. I know his seals and crawls. But I don't know the first name because it's like when you take two people with his way, the significance of one, you always think about both of them. You don't think about him individually like you do Elvis because he's an individual musician. You remember Sarah, she was the one that worked at the phone company. And she was like, Real strange about who she hung out with. She hung, he, she hung, hung out with the type of kids that they would fucking rag out and give wedgies at school. And she liked computers, but she had this strange lingo that I didn't know how to speak. And she just thought me and her were like on a different planet. You know, I'm, I'm on the planet Earth, and she's on planet Vulcan somewhere. And it would be Tuesday. She says I wasn't talking, but like, what can you talk about with a girl that weird? What is there to say to a girl that strange? You can't even relate to people like that. So I just said like. Okay, you're so, uh, you're a little bit pesky, but you know, I forgive you, but uh, why don't you go back to your planet and let me stay on my planet? Me and you are not the same species. And, you know, the girl, she's got her hand in my stomach, and she's thinking about whether, you know, how she could have played, how she pleased me, and how ladylike she was, and what a good time that I was to be around, and what a, uh, a sweet and seeming happy go lucky guy I was. I know she was thinking about that. You gotta think about that thing, you know, when somebody's a likable guy, they're a likable guy. Same with the girl. You know what I mean? Yeah, it must have I don't know, this thing goes very long. It's like, I'm gonna turn it off in a second, like I said. Is it, before I hear it go beep, I'm gonna turn it off because I don't want it to run the battery. But I'm gonna say that I like the piano, I like playing music, I'm addicted more to the piano. I don't really like the guitar, I play it just as a lark, but yeah. If I didn't play it another day in my life, that would be no loss because I don't give a shit about the guitar, I like the piano. And I know 35 songs on the co the piano, and I know the last song I learned was "Snatched Off of the Savoy." But while well, I meant you, the dream. When I grow too old, the dream, and I'm in this by uh, Arcade. And I play that song, and er every song equally is enjoyable as the other because the the piano is what my forte. I want to learn it well because I care about money. I don't care. That's not the reason. I like the challenge and I like the conquest, but that's the main reason. Because my it's my, part of my confidence, you know, my macho man chat, but like the other reason is a, it's just a livelihood and a, it's a living, you know, for me, you know, I can't depend on people on my life, I can't depend on other people on my life, I gotta learn to cry on my own shoulder, and you know, I gotta learn to be my own protector in life, fend for myself somewhat, and I'm gonna do it, I know I am.